Hey guys, welcome back. Um, you are probably wondering why I'm home on a Wednesday because of school. Um, long story short, I went on my vacation three days before everyone else. So I came back a week before spring break ended. So I'm stuck home for a week. Great. Just ignore my hair right now. It's just really bad. My skincare root this is just worse. Okay, whatever. My skincare routine, um, it'll forever be short. But my sheen, 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 girl. I'm getting like $19 worth of stuff, and that's a lot of stuff. I'm getting like a jade roller, makeup wipes, uh, makeup masks. I like can't remember. Ignore my brother in the background. Anyways, let's get ready. If you haven't seen my packing slash cleaning my bedroom, I don't know what the title is. It's like packing slash cleaning my room for my vacation. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it before I spoil what happened. Three, two, one. Vanity was born. Let's stop this. Before I start my skincare, I like to ow, get my hair done and like part it and stuff. Because I love parting my hair. Let me see if this looks good. Hi! Okay, I like how it looks, so I'm just gonna brush it out later. I remember something that I'm getting. I'm getting uh, two new beauty blenders. My old ones don't work. Um, or my old one. <gasps> You're just gonna have to see the reflection in the mirror. So just look there. Cold. <sighs> and the rest on the gigantic forehead. Sunspots. <laughs> Since my skincare routine is like two or three things, um, uh, uh, it's kind of like boring and short. So once I get my Shein, it'll be a little longer. Oh, oh, I remember something I'm getting. I'm getting like a cream organizer to be. They're just hitting everything. I remove moisturizer on. Um, I'm getting like two organizers, one for my cream and moisturizer, and then one for like lip balm. <coughs> Gotta let my face dry though. Okay. Cause it like it's super wet. I don't know why. <coughs> I'm not actually kidding. I, I was faking it. There we go. Oops. Next is a little mini guy. Which is Radiance Rooming Complex. It's really cool. Once I'm done with the product, I'm gonna use the bottles like with my ooh, um, all the wrapping bottles. Cause that'll be fun. I really struggled to get that out of the bottle. I don't know why. I'm trying not to have wrinkles, so if this thing helps, I can put it on my fine lines. See, it's really bad. I can give myself a double chin! Yes! Um, I don't want to cheer. <gasps> Bam! <laughs> Quickly! Why did I just slap myself? I don't know, but I look glowy in this lighting. Hallelujah! I threw it. <laughs> Stop with the fan nonsense. Oh, guess. Why is my hair like that? Mm. Makeup. Why did I do that? Becky! I had it my 
travel bag because I got back from my vacation at 1 a.m. last night. Oh yeah, I got McDonald's at 12.30 last night. I should do a story time while I'm doing my makeup. Story time on how I got home last night. Okay, so I was in Punta Cana and I was flying back home yesterday night. And obviously, um, Punta Cana is out of the country, so you could fly direct flights from you, um, Minnesota to uh, Punta Cana, but they're like a thousand dollars per person, so we just did connected flights. So, when we did connected flights, our first flight from uh, Punta Cana to Miami was a great flight. Like. Didn't complain once. The only thing I complained about was being, like, hungry. Because I didn't eat a big lunch before we left Putacana. And, um, the waitresses can't hand out, like... So, like, the only thing, snacks I could hand out was, like, biscuits. Which, no sorry. But I ate them because I was so hungry. Uh, so, we get off the flight. And our next flight is... Uh, Miami to Minnesota and we get to Miami we go to what's it called it's like the passport truck that place um what's it called I can't remember so passport place um we were there and when we walked in the line like went on for a mile a mile I'm not even kidding a mile we had to stand in it. So, we gladly stood in it for 28 minutes. It went really quick, surprisingly. Even though it was like a mile long. It, it just went really quick, I feel like. Because, but when it came to be our turn at the passport line... There was this lady. She just kept talking with the passport checker person. I don't know what their name is. Uh, the passport checker person. Oh my God. And she just kept talking. And everyone wanted their turn to go fast. Because our flight when we got off Miami was a three hour wait. And we had to get our luggage. Because, long story. Um, when we were getting on the flight to Miami. Uh there were no carry-on bins open because all our bags were carry-ons. Uh, so we had to check bags, but they did it for free because we were supposed to have carry-ons. So we had to get our luggage, we had to go with passport check, and we had to find our gate and go through security. So that's when it all started. We went to get our luggage after that. That went probably the quickest. We found it quickly and we got out of there really fast. And it was really, really easy. When we got to the secure line, I almost fainted. Fainted. It went on for almost two miles. And it wasn't going fast at all. Like the other one, it lasted 20 minutes. This one lasted like an hour and 15 minutes. And when we were about to stand in line, we were about to miss our flight. It, like, the doors closed in 15 minutes, and we were still standing in that line. And there was this girl in front of me. She was, like, older than me, and she was, like, a grown woman. And she, her flight was boarding in this line, and she was in the back of it. And there was these people that said, my flight boards in 20 minutes! And the security people just let her go. And then that girl said, my flight is boring, I need to go. And they're like, mm, go to the back of the line. And they got some nerve to do that. Okay, so it's finally our turn, and right before our turn was, we were just waiting, and we are like, ah, we're gonna miss our flight. And then this uh, worker, she opened up another lane, right then. You could open it up, like, 50 minutes ago. So, we put our bags on really fast. We were like, and... My bag had something in it. My bag. So the boys, my dad and brother, they went ahead to the gate. And they, when they got there, it's kind of a funny story. When my dad was running to get the plane, uh, he beat his pants because it was something on the back. And he was just running so fast. Um, so that was fun. Um, so 
guess what checked in my bag? The sand I was bringing home. And this girl had to check for nuclear things in the sand. Like, it's sand. Chill out. So we ended up just leaving the sand. Because my mom's like, when, how long is this going to take? How long is this going to take? And she's like, it'll only take a few minutes. I mean, seconds. And my mom's like, can we just leave it? And she's like, nope. And then she keeps testing. She's like putting blue dots in it. And then finally my mom just says, we're not going to take it. And we zip up my bag and run. My mom took the suitcases we had and then I took the carry-ons. And we just ran to the gate. But the bad thing was about that is that um, uh, we couldn't eat any food on the flight. Why is my hair not going back there? We like couldn't eat a single, a single thing. Like no food, no food allowed, no food allowed. You can't tell, but my concealage coverage is really bad right now. So it was like chaotic because we actually went. It said we were boarding, our boarding stopped in five minutes, but we were standing in the little term. Is it called terminal? I think it's called terminal. I think that's what it's called. Um, we were standing there for like twenty minutes, waiting for everyone to get on the flight. So we could have grabbed it because at this point we are like starving ourselves, and. On the plane, we were planning on getting snacks, so we looked at all the snacks, and we were like, oh my god, they're so good. We gotta order them all, but we saw they were pricey, but my mom's like, it's fine. We all have to eat. We're all hungry. And then, my dad was looking at the snacks, and he said, Sydney, you can't get any of these. And I'm like, why not? Am I, like, allergic to it? Is there cottonwood in it? Because I'm allergic to cottonwood. And he's like, No. You have to be flying over one, no, over 1,300 miles in order to get food. And obviously, we weren't, we weren't flying that far, so we couldn't get food the whole flight. But my mom uh, somehow begged the passenger drivers to give us food, and we got the food. Uh, <laughs> and we got biscuits and Dr. Pepper. But when we got off the plane, it was like 11.30, 11.30 at night, and none of the restaurants were open, so we couldn't get food there, um, because the only thing I have were, like, biscuits, Pringles, and a chartreuse or a Dr. Pepper, that's it. And it did not fill me up! So we somehow had to find a restaurant, and when we got off the flight, me and my brother were, like, giving around, and we're like, oh, shoot, we gotta make our flight to Paris! And we were, like, running through the airport, and it was so funny, uh, but anyways... Um, we sat down on a bench by a bathroom because everyone had to go to the bathroom. Uh, so everyone went to the bathroom, like so. This is such a long story. And I walk out and my dad's like, our shuttle person is sick. Our shuttle person is sick. So we have to call an Uber and they bring us to the hotel we were staying at the night before we left on the trip. We get our car and we drive to McDonald's because the McDonald's we went to was open till 1 a.m. It was 12.50. Eight. Well, we <laughs> but that's okay. They still gave us five five. Which was awesome. Thank you, McDonald's. I went to bed at 1 a.m. last night. Yay! My brother was like really bummed we didn't get to bring home the sand, but like I was okay with it because we bring home seashells and somehow they didn't attack the giant stingray bone. I'm gonna go grab that stingray bone. This could have easily took someone's life. Why do they detect that? Why don't they detect that and they detect sand? I know it was the morning routine, but I don't want to get dressed today. I won't get dressed today, but I'll show you that later. Bye.